Hi, hi friends, it's Yvonne. I'm at American Classics. I need to work on my booth. You know I bought that showcase from Becky. I was just using a mirror to say hi before I get started. This is Charlie and Gail's booth. He kind of does this one and she has another one that does like glass and collectibles. He does books, records, Starbucks, some nostalgic toys. I haven't seen them for a while. I used to run into Charlie at the thrift stores all the time. Anyways, before I get started on my booth, of course, make a quick trip around to my favorite stores, to my favorite shops. I wanted to come back and get that donkey necklace. Of course, it's gone. I have to quit being so cheap. I wanted that for myself. It wasn't that expensive. I don't know what my problem is sometimes. Just because I'm a big thrifter, I need to knock it off. And to come get that table for mom, she, ooh, that's pretty. Wow, how much is that? $18, dang, that's pretty. It looks like silver too. It is, 925 silver. $18. Um, see, I'm hesitating. I'm like, $18, but no, that's a fair price. I'm not at the thrift store. I'm not at a vendor mall. Dang, let my friends make some money too. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, and that table's gone too, so I need to knock it off. And then remember the picture I had to get up early the next day to go get, because I weenied out on that too. That's pretty tarnished, but the bottom piece is $14. That bottom piece is really pretty. Could take it off and repurpose that. Okay. Anyway, so I'm looking around. What is that? <laughs> that says Avon. Can't tell. Look at that mod looking piece. White chain. It's only six dollars. Okay, so my donkey's gone. That's all right. I'm not a, really a donkey, anyways. I'm a good poker player, <laughs> but you know, just to be funny. So, anyways, I'm gonna shop around a little bit. Yeah, I've already pulled out some cool stuff and taken it up front so that it would because it was little stuff little cats and stuff some little things for Amy and so I needed to take it up front so it wouldn't get lost and then I accidentally steal it so since I'm on a rant about quit being so cheap I ran into these in a new booth $30 I'm gonna treat myself I don't have this color this aqua color with the bubbles in it I've got maybe 15 things of grapes and that's actually a fair price it's just that I'm used to getting mine from the thrift store for a lot cheaper but that's actually a fair price so I'm gonna practice what I preach today treat myself quit being such a cheapskate now she has been in I don't see a sale sign but she's been in I'm kind of tired of missing out on things because I'm like I'm gonna wait for it to go on sale stop <laughs> I mean, for resale, yeah, I, I do need to be, you know, I need to be mindful for my resale business. But if it's something I want, I deserve some treats now and then. Oh, that's a cute little piece. Look at that. What is that? You guys, look at this while I try to nagel this out. It's only $6. It's only $6. Oh, cool. It's vintage -y. Oh, she has a lot of beautiful stuff. Painted on some kind of shell. That's more contemporary. Some birds. I am doing that whatnot. Sandy's whatnot raid train. I don't know what that yeah, 20 sticks. I looked at that last time. And my thing is birds. It was about the only cool thing left, so I kind of wanted deer, but it's already spoken for. That's cool. I'm flexible in that area. I have plenty of stuff, or I know how to find it. Plenty of time. And since I chose birds, actually, I'm already flush because I can do swans. I can do. It's cute. I can do owls, like that really opens it up, so I'm just chit chatting. You know how you know how it is over here. Just chit chat while I shop. 
I want to protect Millie Fiore. She's got it Mark Morano. I'm not sure about that. Oh, that's pretty though. Make a few dollars, extra dollars off of those. I'm always shocked how she doesn't put stuff in her cases, like cool stuff like that. She sold me her only locking case. And then I upgraded it and gave it away, actually free to somebody. That looks like silver too, this little wrap line. $24 last throwing. Oh, she's great. I guess she just buys enough bulk stuff that she can eat any kind of loss. It's a cool looking piece. It's just a little, little green slipper. It's kind of cute. I might get that. Once we slip back into cheapskate mode. <laughs> but you know, we sell. Have to be careful. It's different. This is still here. I, I passed on it last time because it needs restrung, but I don't know. I really feel like these are worth a little bit more. It's got the matching pin over there, which is, I think, what was it, 30? That matches that ring. $20. That matches this ring. She seriously needs a case. I'm going to mark it for her because that's too pretty. I'm going to put it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help myself. That's too cool and it goes together and that might help the sale. These are all earrings. Whoa. See who might be having after Christmas sales. Then I gotta get to work on my booth for a little bit. So I'm just scurrying around a little, seeing what's up, seeing who has after holiday sales I'm in I'm still in the warehouse oh, that was like a hillborn it is eight dollars that's worth a little bit more than eight dollars locked D or 3.99 uh, I don't it's kind of wrinkly I don't think I want that go past that's a good price though oh goodness how much are you Seventy nine dollars. Yeah, seventy nine. And you're huge. I don't know about that one. Potion. Ah, uh, who is that? Blondie. Yes, thank you, Blondie. <laughs> if you love vintage, you need to have one of those West Bend hot cold things. I've got one. I sold three on Knickknack as soon as um, the doors opened. That's a good price too, 15 bucks. Oh, I had a Halbert. Oh my gosh, that cartoon was so funny. Platinum Fubu. Okay, retro vintage Fubu. Um, that cartoon was so good. Seriously. 28. No. 20. I'm Scandinavian vibes on that. Let me see that deer. 12. Oh my goodness, look at this seal for 18. Cute. Oh my goodness. A bunch of owls. I do enjoy Gail's booth. Oh no, this guy, he switches his stuff out pretty frequently. And I caught some fun stuff out of here. 16. Let's see how much he wants on this one. 35. That's a good price. Dang. Oh, what is that? It's all lava texture. Not really lava, like grit. It was like sharp shards of glass. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's see this one. Elvis dolls. Sorry, I can't get to the price. Elvis dolls with Barbie. 
Some Namaji. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, fair prices. Average. A lot of people try to say this is Native American. It's not. That is not. It's just someone that's um, in the United States that I can't remember where that likes the techniques of. 16, that's pretty wood and highly shellacked or polished on the top. I like the way this person has their booth done. Whiskey River Market. Vintage swag lamp, $55. Wow. It's a cookie jar. That 22. That's a cute cookie jar, you guys. Oh. I remember those. I had a big one. Bigger than that, even. $9.95. Handcrafted Boho 70 style orange acrylic trinket box. Oh, that's that resin. Somebody was using that new resin and stuff. No, I'm sticking to the Lucite, vintage Lucite and acrylic. I'm not really much into the new resin stuff at the moment. Never once have I gone into this booth. So I know you guys haven't because I haven't. So let's do that. 425 antique steamer trunk. Expertise with locks. Wow. And there's the other side of it. This is how they traveled. Well, rich people traveled <laughs> at one time in history. It's super cool, though. It's a nice case. Oh, she's selling it too. Twenty-nine dollars. Oh, hang on now. Nine dollars. Hmm. Think about that. That's a good deal. And I've always avoided this booth. Uh, some upcycled stuff. Cottage core type. It's a little mix of things. There's some old pictures. 42, 42, I like that one, it's got that Atkinson and that other person's vibe, I can't get close enough to see the signature, I'll tell you whose it is, I'm not that good on like older art, I'm better at pop culture art like 80s, 90s, this is the place to come to get some unique furniture at a decent price, seriously. American Classics is. Hmm. I don't know what that creature is. $130. What are they? It's got this abbreviated. I'll take a picture and figure that out at home. Those aren't the kitchen fairies, are they? No, because kitchen fairies don't sell for quite that much. Oh. oh, it is. Little kitchen fairies. I just learned about those from Jeremy. He found some at the thrift store and learned about them and told us all. Well, that's... Certain ones can go for that much. I don't know if that's one of them. But, yeah. I think next visit... I'll take some time to go over these real thoroughly and see if there's any wiggle room. That's what all those are. Yeah. I hadn't mentioned it because I haven't found one yet and this just happened. He put it in a little side group where we kind of help each other. I think I, I call it side... Oh, I've got so many. Hang on. This particular one is called um, Side Crew Flex. Yeah, where we just kind of talk about like bolos and cool stuff we found and help each other learn. 
So I've just learned that. Little Kitchen Fairies, I believe. Now that Coco one. Let me see. 120. Yeah. I'm going to take a bunch of pictures. I'm going to let you guys go for a second and take a bunch of pictures of these for research for later. Now this guy here, he used to do something different. He used to... Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. He used to do like uh, finders keepers. Let me see if I can zoom in. Like you look at the date and then it would tell you how much something's going to cost. But... And I bought some pieces off of him that way. Oh, he's got these open. Let's see. Oh, uh, he's not doing that with everything, though. What is that? Oh my gosh. Five dollars for this little clown. Mark down to ten. That one's wrinkly, too, though. Wait. What? Oh my gosh. It's not a safety pin art, but it's the beaded art. Forty dollars. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I kinda love it. Alright. Gosh, I hope someone buys that and has fun with it. That's so cute. And then the rest is stuff that I don't really, you know, yeah. <laughs> really. Okay. So that was Becky's mom's booth. All cleaned out, nice and vacuumed. They left it perfect condition, ready to go. And this is Karen's booth. Karen comes in as often as she can and kind of rearranges things. That's cool. Let me price it for you guys. I I get one fifty nine right now. I like it when I'm watching people's videos and they tell me how much things were. I'm like, wait. I want to learn something. How much was it? I actually have a teapot for Karen. I'm going to bring it today. But I have one for her that she might not have. Okay, that's great. $29.99, that's about right. That is a great piece. I kind of want to set it up higher. <laughs> He's on a seesaw. I think she's been in because there's not much Christmas left, so I think Karen's been in. I'm going to turn slowly, you guys, and look at this with you. Stork or egret. Possible Cameron Clay Company or Weller. Price is 39 because she says, you know, there are some hairlines. 35. But sometimes a piece is still worth saving to some people, so I understand why she would do that. Alright. Oh, that's a big block of glass. It's an awesome candelabra. Kind of Danish looking, isn't it? Okay. Augberg design metal candelabra fifty dollars. It's a nice little design element on that. Hello there. And this booth here, I at first I was like, wait, did Becky's mom decide to stay after all? Because it's the IKEA shelving again. But this is someone new, or they've taken on another booth. This is all IKEA new shelving as well. It's got the same vibe, but no, I know she didn't. This is just somebody else coming in. Some vintage glassware, some Bavarian pieces. 
some Hollywood Regency Ormolu type stuff in the middle, that base $50 <laughs> some Fire King pastel let's see what this is ferrets these are ferrets you guys what we were Tigers are first forty dollars. Brass otter, or otter, otter or ferrets. I'm good with that. I've never been in this booth either. Looks like it might be two booths together. It's more like '90s to now type stuff. But look how she's got it, like decorated out with the faux fireplace kind of got it set up and staged. That's the word I'm looking for, how she's got it staged. So that makes it kind of fun. And for those that like Targ J and Home Goods, a booth like this would be their vibe. A few nostalgic pieces they could find. 90s and Y2K. Some of their favorite moderately priced brands of clothing would be in here. percent off all clothes and purses. So here's what I bought you guys. Of course these awesome things. I don't think I've ever even showed you my full collection. Somebody had Christmas stuff on sale and that's just delicate pretty. I know it's by Walmart or Target. They had 75% off so it's going to be like a dollar something. There's the cats that I got out of a booth. They're like one, two, and three dollars. That silver necklace and <laughs> let me grab these real quick and some snaps for a bracelet that Amy won like two months ago I haven't sent it to her yet because I wanted to get her some more snaps to snap in it it's a modern bracelet but it's cool and then you get all these little snaps I got her an owl a, one of those hairless cats and some penguins all right so I'm checking out and then I've got about an hour I can work on my booth okay so see Becky put a bunch of her mom's Ikea shelving in here I don't know what she did with that awesome kitchen case she had I hope she sold it it was awesome so her booth looks fantastic and the case that she had there that she bought when she moved in again this is my neighbor I mean my neighbor here and literally my neighbor on my street she does the upcycling furniture she sold that awesome chair that had the twisty stuff and that awesome little makeup thing with the stool that was covered with fur so cute okay so anyway so yeah my two booths are here so there it is <laughs> Becky bought that from who left it in the booth they were offering $50 and so she's you know I bought it I paid her fifty dollars and I said let's slide it over here so I need to get those shelves up and I want to secure them with tape I don't want to just put them on there I want to secure them with tape and I want to cover them with this clear coat that's what I've been doing with my shelves over there is I cover them with a clear coat just so to help reinforce them you know so they don't break look you can't really tell I'll show you. Can you see the frosted on that versus these that I haven't done yet? It's just clear coat contact paper. That way maybe if it accidentally breaks, you know, it won't like tumble down all the way through. It won't hurt anybody. It will stay stuck together. And that's what I did on these two. Because, you know, we set heavy stuff on there. It still lets some light come through. I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of sales this week because it is going to be so cold. Like today the high was 40, tomorrow the high is predicted to only be 30, and then it's going to drop down, down, down. Alright you guys, let me grab my Christmas stuff and take it back home. And uh, 
Hey, look. Maybe this will sell now. This is the last piece that I have left that I bought a couple years ago. I bought a bunch of stuff that I said, hey, this is 80s, 90s shades, and it's going to come back. And I sold most of it. Not that piece yet. Actually, I think I just got that last year. So I might move that to the forefront. I might put a little sign on it that says Pantone Color of the Year. Peach Fuzz. <laughs> that might help that sell. All right. Oh, I sold some more of this. I'm already in the money now. Yeah, I've sold another piece of that. That German stuff that I remember I bought all that from the new honey hole. And could not get that other light fixed. Still working on that. All right. I only have about an hour, so I'm going to work on that, you guys. I went to take off those Christmas lights, and they're plugged down there. And in that corner hidden, hang on. <laughs> In that corner hidden was a Raku vase, and then a, oh my goodness, let's see, and it says Karen Wilder, now I don't know if she left both of them, or just my friend Karen, we just looked at her booth, and I've got a teapot for her, hang on, let me see what's in here, okay, it's so cute, look at this llama, this llama mug, and uh, this is everything though, look at this little glass, smiley in the box, a smile can push away the clouds to make a sunny day. A happy face will warm the heart. So wear your smile today. Oh my goodness. And then this little doggy frame. Clay art. I do love that stuff. I don't know if she left this too. Did she leave me a message and I don't and I didn't get it? Oh my gosh. Okay, the holidays are kind of a blur. <laughs> Alright. Karen, thank you, love. And I'm gonna send her a picture of the teapot I got her. It's square and it's from England. I think she'll like it, but I need to see if she has it or not. Hope you had a little bit of fun looking around. I'll film when I come back, and after the cold snap, I'll come back and start filling things up. And I'll film some more, some boots that we didn't hit. Alright, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.